Chapter 518 Lady Richard was down in the mouth. What should she do? What else could she do? The Richard family did not have other sources of income, they were deep in debts, and their capital chains had long been broken. The only way they could get out of this mess was to find investors quickly, otherwise, they would fall apart soon. But Sean, who was most likely to help them, had also left. Who else could they find now? Lady Richard sighed and said, right now, we can only take one step at a time. Suddenly, her eyes shone brightly as if something struck her mind. She looked at Olivia and said, Olivia, Sean gave you to Alan Baker, didn't he? Although the Baker family isn't as rich as Sean, at least their net worth is around one to two billion. Why don't you beg him to invest several million to our company to help us get through the mess? Harold's father clapped his hands in excitement. Oh yeah. How could we forget about Alan? Olivia, you were in a brief relationship with him, weren't you? I think he won't watch us die. Olivia couldn't care less about the embarrassment of her being around men. She quickly took out her phone and called Alan, thinking that he could solve their problems. However, she didn't know that Alan was sitting in a jeep, heading north. The song North to Alaska by Johnny Horton was playing on the player, without a way to know whether or not it had been done intentionally by the driver. Alan felt his heart getting colder and bleeding as he listened to the song. Besides, his phone was confiscated by Stephen's men because Alex precisely ordered that Mike and Alan could not use their phone or surf the internet. So, he didn't know that Olivia was looking for him anxiously. Olivia felt a little peculiar and surprised when she couldn't get through his phone. She mumbled, confused, what happened? Alan switched off his phone. It should be time to celebrate since they've just solved Sean's problem. Lady Richard said, maybe his phone battery is dead. Try again later. Okay. At this moment, the great turmoil that had just occurred in the Baker family had spread throughout Oris Hill like wildfire. It had created such huge turbulence, especially in the pharmaceutical industry. Rumors had it that Mike Baker, the head of the Baker family, and Alan, his son and also the successor of Baker Pharmaceuticals, were hurled to Mount Gallman. There was even a hit order against them, jointly issued by multiple prominent families. Everyone realized that they must have offended some VIPs. No one knew for sure whom they had offended. The rest of the Baker family members dared not talk about it, let alone Don Stephen. The news spread across the city at such a high speed that it soon reached Harold's father. He was totally devastated when he knew that Alan and Mike had lost power and were now on their way to Mount Gallman. He told his family about the news. Lady Richard's blood pressure shot up in an instant and fell back in a daze. She would have free fallen into trouble if Harold's father wasn't fast enough to catch her. Harold's father helped his mother up on the sofa. The old lady wailed in anguish as she slapped her thigh and said, Oh God, you want us dead, don't you?